This guide is going to talk about everything Adamance has to offer and strategies for the moon. I will go over a jump that you probably have never seen unless you watched me do it when I was streaming. Shout out to my Twitch, link in the description, I stream there almost every day. Alright, let's get into it. Adamance has 16 to 18 scrap objects that spawn, a 1.18 indoor multiplier, it averages about 689 scrap, has a max indoor and outdoor power of 13, making it quite dangerous. And the most common enemy indoor is a thumper, and the most common enemy outdoor is the baboon hawk. Make sure to watch my latest video, which is a guide going over baboon hawks. There's not too much to talk about for the indoor. It is roughly the same size as Vow and Offense, being slightly larger than Vow and slightly smaller than Offense. It is good to note that spike traps, turrets, and mines can spawn indoors for this moon. For the exterior, this is where your ship will land. Right below, down this ledge, you will find your dropship. This is where it will spawn whenever you buy stuff. This is where it will land. Um, you can get out from the dropship by just going to the right here and curve around. And same way to get to it if you need to not take the slope, you can just loop around under the bridge to get to it. Uh, to the right is going to be your quick path to main. It's going to be on this bridge. Uh, this bridge is very weak. Uh, I recommend jumping across it and not taking loot back using the bridge. I will show you a way to take loot back without using the bridge. So I would use the bridge only to get to main by sprinting and jumping across. It is similar to the Val bridge and will break pretty fast. Once you cross the bridge, you'll have your main right here. If we keep going left, you can loop behind this little mountain and make your way to the fire exit. Now if we go back to the ship, if we go left, this will be our path to the fire exit, the quickest path. Uh, you can make this jump across this bridge, and then fall down the slope and your fire exit's right there. Now obviously if you wanted to, you can continue going and loop around and get your way to main. In addition to those, you do have your little pit in the middle. so. To get to main or fire or whatever back to ship you can take this pit you can go down the slope in the pit and then back up the slope loop around here and you're back at the ship for your large bridge it is very similar to the vow bridge and will break fairly quickly especially if you have weight on you i recommend jumping across the bridge and only taking the bridge to main in order to keep it staying up For the smaller bridge, it will break after you jump on it four times. The part I am standing on here will never break, it will only be the other side. After it does break, you can still use it by jumping across using the standing beam. You can also still transfer loot if you have a ladder at this point. Just place down the ladder and walk across. Here's it from the other side. There are many jumps you can make to get outside the map and be safe when transferring loot, but I will only be showing the two quickest paths that maximize safety and efficiency. The first path is getting back from main with loot. One thing you can do if you're coming from main is probably your safest path with loot. You can run over here to the left. What you're gonna do is you're going to hug the wall like this to make it onto this little ledge here. And from there you'll just keep running straight. be right over here by the ship. Definitely the best path for main. This other path is getting back from fire. Keep in mind this will be slightly slower than just walking to ship, but will be a lot safer and worth it. Now if you 
still have loot and the bridge is broken, you can walk up this hill right here, make this jump, drop in the loot as close as you can to that little divot right there, and then walk up this tree. All you do is walk right into it, and then what you're gonna do is sprint and hug the side wall. So you're gonna sprint and hug the wall until you make it over here. And you can just pick up your loot. You'll come right over this hill, and you can make your way back to ship. Some quick fun facts. There is this mud pit by the main entrance. It's pretty large, pretty cool. And flooding is reversed on adamants for the first day. So as many of you may know, the adamants is flooded when you first load up a new save. However, by around like 12 p.m., this flooding will go away completely. In the middle of the pit, you may have noticed this cabin, and it is actually an Easter egg telling you the name to one of the secret tier 4 moons, Artifice. You will just type in 68 art, or just art, and you will be able to route to that moon for 1500 credits. There is actually this way up to fire if you ever need it. You will need full stam, and what you will do is go up to this spot, jump and sprint against the wall while spamming spacebar. It'll let you jump again, and then you're going to keep doing that, sprinting into the wall, spamming spacebar, and it'll let you jump one more time, allowing you up the hill. It's 2 a.m. in exam week for me, so hopefully I didn't miss anything, but I have to wrap it up. If you think I should have mentioned anything else, please let me know in the comments, and I will add it to the pinned comment. Thanks for watching, and I will see you hopefully later today when I will be streaming the Eclipsed Embryon Challenge Moon for this week. Peace.